We're here with Shai Agassi of Better Place. We're in Tokyo, where the company is about to show some uh, battery swapping uh, demonstrations with the Tokyo taxis. Tell me about the program that you're doing here in Japan. We're about a year ago, we've demonstrated that you can actually swap a battery on, the, on an electric car, uh, and the government basically uh, challenged us to, to do something practical before it was a, just a technology demonstration. Uh, what we're doing now is we've opened a taxi station. And um, taxis have always been the toughest segment for uh, electric cars uh, to try and, and respond because that's a car that goes forever. It never stops. Um, what we're demonstrating is that you now can have an electric car that will go and go and go and go and only switch a battery about every 100 miles. Um, and the switch is under a minute. And so you, you Under a minute? Really? Yeah, we actually clocked it yesterday at <laughs> 59.1 seconds. Wow. Um, not that it makes a huge difference if it's a minute and 40 seconds or a minute, but uh, sort of it was a bar that we, we always said we'd like to, to sort of pass under the bar at one minute. Uh, and in doing so, even if you need to switch three times a day, um, you end up uh, spending less time at the uh, battery switch station than you did at a gas station before. Because a gas refill is about five minutes, and, and here you're, you're three intervals of one minute. I, I was at a forum at Columbia University a couple of days ago, and it actually came up that taxis would be an ideal uh, test bed for switchable batteries because they don't want the, the taxis to be idle. for the, They basically run 24 hours. Absolutely. So they don't have eight hours to sit around and be recharged. Absolutely. We're, we're going to see cars that will go for 100 days uh, and probably do somewhere around um, – 10 to 15,000 miles during those 100 days without ever stopping for a recharge. Um, these are Nissan Rogues that have been converted to batteries? These are, they're called Duelis in, in Japan. It's the same car, but it's, uh, it's effectively a Nissan Rogue that's been uh, muled into an electric car. Uh -huh. Can you see doing this with, say, the Nissan Leaf when that becomes available? Because that's just down the road. Uh, the Leaf um, does not have a, a switchable battery. Um, and it has a fixed battery inside, but it's fairly easy to make it into a switchable battery if Nissan wants to. So um, I think that they'll observe what we're doing here, and uh, if that's a market that um, that they're interested in, uh, the segment, then we, we might actually uh, get to do something together. But the car that Nissan is making for you in Israel does have switchable batteries. Is that Would that be a potential taxi here too also? That's actually a Renault car. So uh, Renault is focused on... Uh, the switchable battery. Nissan has, has done. Nissan's first car is fixed. Renault's first car is switchable, and and yet they share technology. And so if they they see the volumes as we're seeing right now, uh, they always said that if they see volumes, they're gonna they're gonna make a, a switchable version. So how many how many taxis in this in this demonstration program? We we put four taxis. Um, Three of them are actually going to run around Tokyo. One is actually going to be running around the station just so that it can demonstrate the switching. Um, because the, if you think of three, three taxis, they, they will come into the station probably less than ten times during the day overall. And so we, we figure we need one taxi to be close to the station so we can show how the, the uh, robots work and the battery switch uh, for people who come to, to see this. It's, uh, it's going to be... Um, uh, we believe a very interesting spot for uh, for visitors to come over and uh, and check this technology actually functioning with consumers. What is the range of those electric cars? Infinite, and you, you can switch and go and switch and go and switch. And go. Well, I mean, on each each <laughs> time you switch the battery, how far? It's about a, about 100 miles. That's the the range of the battery. Um, and again, we haven't tested um, all driving conditions at all temperatures, but um, it it should be about four miles. Um, per kilowatt hour, and the batteries that are in the final cars are 25 kilowatt hours. Do you see expanding this program around the world? Uh, because Absolutely. Again, taxis seem like a really good way of uh, getting this into commerce. If, if you think about it, just Japan, for example, has 300,000 taxis. Uh, those taxis drive almost uh, 200 plus kilometers, uh, miles every day, 330 kilometers every day, I think is the, the average distance. Um, just Japan taxis, just Japanese taxis drive more miles than all of Israel together, our first country. And so the segment of um, urban taxis is one that's very, very appealing to us um, and has always been sort of the, the, the uh, mythological bar. If you can pass taxis, um, you can do anything. It's also a great way to introduce the public to electric driving. So 
in an average yellow cab in New York, I think you get about 20 or 30 people to go into the car, uh, into the cab every day. You basically have a, a demo center, a movable demo center in, in these urban areas. And so we're looking at the major metropolitan areas to actually introduce a similar program to every one of those cities. Great.